What's up, people? You have found the Kale Report, and I'm Scott Killian. Today, I want to start putting on some of the accessories I have sort of stacked up here on my desk for my Victory motorcycle. And I thought the best place to start would be somewhere for me to put my phone. And I have purchased the Kewig, Kewig, K E W I G phone holder. Um, and it is a model number. M23C1 and this was purchased off of Amazon but I will let you know if it's a KO or just okay stick around <laughs> Welcome back to another installment of the KL Report. I am glad you're here. As I mentioned in the opening credits, I wanted to install some accessories for my bike. And I, I thought, what better than to start off with your phone holder? Uh, because it Bluetooths to the radio, uh, you could use it for GPS navigation, and you need it to be right there at your hands. And I'm going to put this on the handlebar. Like you, perhaps, uh, I was looking for some reviews and got on eBay and I originally was looking for something similar to this um, that also charges the phone through the, uh, the back of it, the battery, uh, where you just set up against it. And all the reviews I read on this model that had charging capabilities were absolutely terrible. Excellent phone mount, terrible charging system. Uh, one guy said it didn't work two hours. Another guy said three weeks. Uh, another person said just a matter of months. Um, what I don't understand about it, reading this, get my glasses here, they offer a 12 month warranty from the date of purchase. Kevin develops a uh, business with customer satisfaction with a one year guarantee and they will not be responsible for any problems caused even uh, or during installation, uh, even if it is during the warranty period. If you're not satisfied with this product and the quality of its daily use, please contact us for a full refund or replacement. So some of these people that were having problems straight out of the box, uh, they may have actually had legitimate problems, but we all know there's someone who just likes to complain uh, also. So what I wanted to do, this is gonna be hard uh, to kind of get it all in, but I would like to uh, show what's in the box, install it, and then I will go for a ride and come back and finish this video with sort of a report of how my phone stayed in, if there's a lot of vibration with it, um, and we'll kind of go from there. So let's start with what's inside. As we open up the box, as a protector. So... Owner's manual, doesn't look like too many steps. Yeah, let's take a look. What I like about this, this is actually, this is heavier than my phone. Let's see if I can find something too. This is not plastic. This is uh, an aluminum, I would imagine. An aluminum grade uh, it's, it's almost too heavy to be aluminum but this is a pretty serious uh, weight to this 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 definitely weighs more than my phone um, see what else comes in so the crotch cradle the bushing the tool to put it on I'm not sure what those are the ball that it'll swivel on. Two of them. I guess for the multi-angles. And then the clamp itself. I don't think there's anything else in the box. No. So packaging's nice. Uh, that's really nice. The weight of this. So uh, I will stop the video here and go out and try to start installing this. I don't know if I have a place to set up uh, to do the record on the install for I want to embarrass myself with the time it takes to do it, but uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll head outside. All right, as, as we're out here, 
I'm looking to probably mount here. I did notice by looking through these, the two different balls, this could go on here where the mirror is, which may not be a bad option to take the mirror out, run that through it, and then you have your ball mount here. But I do think I wanna go here just for reach convenience, which means I won't use that piece that I would be using this piece. So I'll get started and uh, we'll update here in a moment. <clears throat> Something I found intriguing with this, we get the focus. It is a star bit with the, uh, the pin there in the middle sort of a safety and they do supply the tool with it uh, see if I can get that in the focus there we go this was the original bushing that was in it there was some extra bushings in the bag and I did have to go with a thinner one to fit this handlebar and now I'm going to run the anti-theft bolt back through and tighten it up and step one will be complete so step one's complete tightened down as you can see here step two looks like we take this piece which i've already loosened and we will set it here and tighten down but before we tighten down there we also got to tighten it on that ball and that hole so i have to set the foam down pick that up, put in here, then we'll just screw this down to hold them both in place. And then you've got your adjustments from there. So we have it mounted here, which will allow us to move and bend as needed. And this tool comes with it to kind of tighten it down. So if I get in place here, Tighten down a little bit. Maybe a little more, but you can see I've kind of got it angled up. Or I can even go there. I think I like that. So, the design looks good. And I'll show you this knob versus the tool that goes in it. Just fits into place so you can tighten it down. So those three steps are it. Once you've got it tightened down, you're good. The last thing you will need to do, you can adjust these with the smaller standard Allen head. And here at the bottom, I can adjust it down and I like that it has maybe on the other side. It has indicators here for the size of your phone for how high you need to adjust it. I didn't notice any on the, the side for width. You just kind of fit it on there. So I'll, uh, I will adjust these so the width of my phone fits in there easily. This, so as you're going in with it, you just go in with your phone up and it'll cradle in the spot. So let me get these adjusted. <clears throat> okay, so I did adjust this for the height up and down this for the width of the phone on both sides as well as an up and down over here in this corner i like there's sort of a high speed lock here if i twist this down this won't raise up at all if you twist it a couple of turns back now it's it's spring loaded to get a look here from this side See how the phone sits. I've got it 
pretty secure in place. I don't think any vibration there will hurt. This thing spins freely. I've noticed you can't tighten it down by hand without this tool. So no matter how long I crank on it here until I adjust here, it is what it is. So there's, this was maybe a, maybe a 10 minute install. And that was because I really didn't know what I was doing. And uh, the only thing I would recommend if you get one of these would be to lay your phone in the cradle lay your phone in the cradle and get all of these adjustments done first so when you you get them adjusted then remove your phone then install it here that would be the only thing i would have done differently with hindsight being 2020. i do have the extra bushings the two little allen wrenches that came with it and this tool that I'm going to put in the bag and I will keep these in my saddle bag in case I ever need to use them again. But let's take a look at how it sets and what adjustments we may need to make. All right, so Seeing it here, definitely need to go a little more. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. So kind of at a glance here. All right, let's wrap this up. So I'm gonna go for a ride and see how stable this is and i will come back and let you know my final thoughts on it um, i'm sure as with anything uh, there could be some uh, adjustments that needs to be made uh, as we go along but overall i'm i like it right now we'll uh, we'll see what happens thanks i guess i could show how the phone kind of goes in so just push up with that spring loaded and push it back and it is in place that's some pretty hard taps it's it's not going nowhere so uh let's go for a test drive i'm back from my test drive and to be honest i really love this thing it is uh very easy to put on uh all the tools you need all the bushings you need for your handlebar size and no vibration i got on my ride uh, and went up the road, four lane road. I got up to 65, 70 miles an hour, no problems. Uh, I made a U-turn, come back down, kind of got on it a little bit, still no problems. I could see the phone crystal clear. There was no vibration whatsoever. Uh, easy to reach and access anything you may need to do while having it there. So for me and my situation, this was well worth the $80 uh, price that I paid on Amazon. And a thumbs up here, a complete KO. I love it and you will too. Thanks for watching the KO Report. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Subscribe already. Take care and have a great day.